All right, let's talk about the greatest phenomenon that we currently have. Very controversial is airplane seats. They're getting more and more crammed to the point where those that are five feet 10 or taller feel like their legs are just cramped up, numb, and outright third world feeling. They feel like their blood flow just starts to clot and there's been many incidences where airplane travelers have had medical issues on the plane where it required immediate hospital attention. It's also become a reality that a lot of us are also getting larger for the more the larger population. Now don't be surprised if we don't push back and suddenly our airplanes look like this where our seats are inclined down and we're actually almost standing and we are cramped up against each other. Now let's look, look at some reality pictures where this individual here has extreme problems trying to get out of his seat. And then this photo here. This individual is trying to look at the N Headrest Entertainment System movie. And yet when the person in front of them has reclined a seat, they can barely even watch the movie on an angle and with the sunlight directing in, it makes it even harder. Now, not all airlines are created equal, right? For example, here, JetBlue is 34 inches, Virgin America Southwest 32 inches, Delta American 31, United 30, and Spirit 28 inches in length. So would you agree that it would be great to have a standardization or to create different aisles for different size humans because it's not exactly a one size fits all scenario. Let's cover some tips on when you're in an airplane, make things feel a lot more comfortable. Taking responsibility for your own health and feelings on the plane. So wear compression socks, being able to help the blood flow circulate back up into your body so that you don't have any type of blood clot or any type of blood issues while you're on the plane. Next one, water bottle. Make sure to bring a large water bottle to fill up water after you pass security so you can fill it up because it can be very dry when you're up on a plane and you may not even notice that your body is dehydrated. Next one, bring eye drops to lubricate your eyes because your eyes can likely also be dry and with the air blowing down from the little nozzle above your head, it can also dry out your eyes. Okay, next one, bring a eye cover so that if things are too bright or they forget to turn off the lights, then or if your neighbor has the lights on overhead, you can put on your eye covers to cover up your eyes so that you can have some shut eye. Next one, healthy snacks. Make sure to bring some healthy snacks with you, something that will fill you, but also be somewhat healthy so that you can feel nourished while you're on the plane. Okay, next one. Definitely bring some entertainment, whether it's movies or books or actual book, hardcover books, because you never know on the plane that you're on whether they include in head rest entertainment system. Some have pulled that out, claiming it helps with fuel efficiency on the plane. For longer haul flights, make sure to bring a pillow rest. Now there's many different versions. There's one that just wraps around your neck. They may not be all that comfortable as you can see in this image, it just does not look comfortable at all. Or you can get the newer generation style headrest where it wraps around the back of the seat and it keeps your head upright and it also covers the brightness in the plane, whether it's through direct sunlight or whether it's the overhead lights. Also make sure to bring a light jacket or hoodie in case it gets cold while you're up in the air in the airplane. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.